guys, so today I am going to teach you how to use Ibis Pen. So I downloaded the app already. If you don't have the app, go to Google Play or App Store or the Huawei Gallery. Then you can get it there. So I am gonna go in right now. And um starting up is very easy. So literally they um actually show you the my gallery and um the collection and the online gallery so they also show people who are top ranked at drawing this stuff so we are not gonna do anime i don't do anime so we're just gonna do like normal stuff i guess so just go into my gallery then i already have this one so for you those who do not know um there's kind of like a button next to the like um they show an eye in it a circle for those who use uh tablet users um for those who are phone users um um at the bottom here they usually show it so you just like do this there's um an eye icon something then there's a plus icon next to it so you're gonna like press it then it shows um canvases like um um the chat stamp and sd's eyes or you can do this adjust it or either press here and then you can write the numbers that you want so the number that i want is gonna be seven six eight um then with the other one seven six eight which is the same as this one which is one over one so we're gonna say done and then gonna say okay then it opens up literally so on the left hand side we got um transformation the magic wand the lasso um um the uh, filter and the um brush the eraser the smudge the blur um the special pen the bucket um the text and the um cartoon kind of thing and then the eye drop and then the canvas so if you want to rechange your size you can like um resize it here so it's very easy so what you're gonna do is do that and it's typically easy for people who are users like me and it's obviously simple so you're gonna just do that on the bottom they show you this kind of thing so this kind of thing is obviously when you may um for example let me just um do this okay example then if you made a mistake and you want to rub it out you see that here it changes so it's like to for example to exchange the brush into an eraser so i just want to exchange it then i can rub it out then exchange it back to the brush so on here we got the brushes well this app currently sometimes uses admit advertisement and this is the other one that you need to pay with but the other one that you need to pay with is not like updated so just stick to this new one because it's always upgraded so you like um have tons of pencils you can use so airbrushes like you can kind of use maybe when you're doing the hair maybe to make it shine and then you can have the um felt tip pen soft and then you can here resize everything and here's the uh, capacity which i can do for example okay in the darker shade is like this And the darker shade is like this and then making sure you want to make it lighter 
can do it like that even lighter you do it like this and another lighter one this then it goes like this into a lighter shade then you do it um like that then there you go there is from dark to light so the aqua opacity just makes the color that was dark into lighter so the next one here that um border thing is the color they show you some color they gave you a little bit of color palettes so that you can use them and all of the stuff um mainly people use this stuff as um um make their own colors they make their own colors if you want to make your own color you use the color wheel as you can see this is the color wheel and all of the stuff is already used by um a ton of people so mainly when you use this stuff it is very easy now you just need to um like if you want to make your own color you select it you want to make the own if it's black it's black then you roll it and then you stop then you go to this this maybe this and then after this you do that you see it goes like this so you can do it then if you want to delete that color that you don't want you just long press it then it says entry or delete so mainly if i want to delete it i can just put back it again so it's mainly easy so get into the drawing okay so this one it makes everything disappear so if you want to show low alone you don't want anything to disturb you you can use that so mainly when i do this it it's either like for example you can do tap um with two fingers oh my god i made a mistake and i want to fix this you just tap anyway not in the not in the sheet just tap tap outside of the sheet like one two then it goes back but when you go in front to reverse it you have to like go back then going back do that do that do that yeah but i recommend doing this because it's much easier so go into the layers in the layers they currently show you well you tap here actually so currently in the list they show you the modes and it says 100 percent normal when it, why it says 100 percent normal because the 100 percent stands for the capacity of the layer so you can like make it like that and then yeah but the pencil is the the pencil of the our capacity of the pencil is already high to 100 percent but the layer is 48 percent normal so why it says normal i want to show you where it says normal selection there are some um filters or maybe darken whatever if you use um the app called pixart you should know this um, it says darken, okay, so you can see multiply Layer you can see screen you can see then you can say add lighter color overlay Hard light it changes everything invert difference Excuse me subtract subtract divide um, hue and then the saturation um, the color and the luminosity or something like that. I don't know. Luminosity, yeah, luminosity. Okay, so you see, it's all different. I don't use all of them. I just like only commonly I use the add and the multiply. The multiply makes the color even darker. So for example, now I'm, I'm going to use. This. So we are going to download the app 
called Pinterest. Pinterest is a very nice app. You can find beautiful pictures in HD and more or less um, it's more more um, good quality than Google Pictures. So like if you search on Google for pictures, the quality you see it's low but on Pinterest it's very high. You say Pinterest and it appears here. So guys, I am going to install it. I am both going to today do a tutorial of Ibis Paint and also using Pinterest. So the reason why I'm done using Pinterest is because of the, um, I want to find, like, I want to teach you everything. So if you want to, like, find, um, you want to, like, find new brushes from other people, um, I'm going to show you. And also how to share your brushes with other people. So right now it's kind of like dandering. It's not going to take some time. Um, we're just going to like literally wait. New shots. It's very awesome in HD. And it also gives you a lot of people ideas. So I'm just going to like open it. I currently have like three devices locked into um I currently have four devices logged into the printers app because one of the um one of the three devices don't belong to me. So this one is gonna be the um three of them of the devices don't belong to me, so this is gonna be um the fifth one. And it's gonna be also okay, guys. So, um, I kind of like skipped a little bit. So, I um logged in. So, this is my account. Okay, pressing here, which is a standard image. I'm not gonna show it to you anyway. I know why, I know where. He showed a lot of stuff, but I'm not going to show anything. So, we got a lucky Pinterest here next to it. I didn't put in there, guys. Yeah. Okay, so it loaded. Okay, so. We still have the brushes. I explained everything. So, for the brushes, we're going to go to... So I didn't have any custom for mine. Let's have a little bit. All right. So everybody can see that there's three bars on the right corner of the checks Japan. So the, I'm gonna press these three bars. It says import QR code, export QR code, brush QR code. So if I wanna export, is when I take this. As like for example, I made it. Then I am gonna press this. Um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna um export this brush out and share it with everyone. For example, I saved it, saved to gallery. Then when you import, you get it in. So I don't know where you can find this. Okay, yeah, you see, you find it here. It says texture pack, so in pens, it only detected one. So, what if it only detected one brush? I guess this brush is in me. So, I'm gonna like import in one. Yeah, so this is minor ones. I don't know why. Yeah, it only put in this one. So yeah, we're gonna use it. So I am gonna try to make some here. Just in a darker color. Okay. So you see you don't you want your hair to be curly and all this stuff. It's all stainless free. There is a square which is a selection and there is a thing like a smudge. So it just shows you how to do this. You just press the force fade and then you press the line. So I'm gonna say 50%, 53, 56, okay. Okay, so it looks like this. 
Okay, come in so I am gonna go so so away. Oh my god. It's going like literally go so so. Hmm. I mean the hair is a little bit fuzzy. I think it's made for um You can use this with other brushes if you want to so kind of you may know how to do this. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching my channel.